Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glamper Camper. And holy guacamole guys, this video is gonna be crazy. We are at Iowa's number one Ford Lincoln dealer. We are at Stiver's Ford Lincoln here in Des Moines, Iowa. And Mr. Cameraman got a brand new Bronco for his birthday. We cannot wait to drive it home and show you guys all the cool bells and whistles. And mainly we can't wait to get it back to Arizona and take it off-roading. But we just wanted to show you guys it and see how it does on the trip home. We are super excited, but definitely if you live in Iowa and you need a new Ford or a new Lincoln, come here. Mr. Cameraman has purchased multiple vehicles from Stivers here and they have all been top notch. So we cannot wait to see how nice and how amazing the Bronco is. And guess what? They even have Chevys. We're just out here walking around on the car lot because Mr. Cameraman has a couple of things that he needs to pick up here. We already have the Bronco. It's a a warehouse so we just got to pick up a couple things for the bronco so what is all this what's this one that's the safe that goes in the console what's this uh that's part of the, the canvas or a cargo protector and what is this long one that's uh, the mini top and then head to the bronco and then we would be driving it back to arizona so let's get going There it is. What's the full name of it? Ford Bronco Wild Track Sasquatch Package. <laughs> oh, there it is. This one's cute. Ain't it? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Love the color. I like the like the black decals on the side. Those are really cool. might be cooler than the camper. So now that I have figured out how to drive all this thing, I can kind of talk about it. So right now I already have my cruise set. I'm going 75 miles per hour. But if I wanted to turn on or off my cruise, there's just a button on the left hand side of the steering wheel. And you press it, the cruise turns off. Now I'm using the pedal. Press it again and the cruise turns on at whatever speed you're going. Now, the reason I wanna talk about this is for me personally, when I'm driving any new vehicle, knowing how to set the cruise is crucial because that's when I feel the safest. I know some people say when cruise is on, that's not as safe, but I disagree. So, on that same side, if you go one button over and one button up, you can increase your speed or if you want to go slower, just go one button over, one button down, and now you can go slower. So I'm gonna go back to 75. Now, this Bronco does have adaptive cruise. So to set that, from where you turned on your cruise, you just go one button up, and you can choose in between one and four car lengths between you and the car ahead of you. This is really nice. So when you're driving and you get into a lot of traffic, you don't have to constantly be changing your cruise speed. You can just decide how many car lengths you want between you and the car ahead of you. And the Bronco will automatically keep you at that distance. But once that vehicle in front of you is no longer in front of you, your Bronco will speed back up to the original speed you had cruise set at. So adaptive cruise is really, really, really nice, especially when you go on super long road trips like this. You can also change the volume of your audio on the left side. And you can turn on or turn off your lane key. Now I like that to be turned on because it alerts you and there's an image on the screen that will turn red if you are going over the lane. I think that is a fantastic safety feature. Honestly, I think every car should come with that. Now on the other side of the steering wheel, you just have some phone options, and then you can control the screen in front of the steering wheel with this pad over here, all the way over on the right. Then if you go to the bottom of the right hand of the steering wheel, you can skip songs. 
there's a back skip and a forward skip. So that is the steering wheel of the Bronco. Now this is the screen that you look at right behind the steering wheel. So as you can see, if you turn off the cruise, all of that goes away. If you turn it back on, it hooks it back up. You can set the cruise. You can see it going up and down. That top number in green is the speed that you are setting your cruise to. When you change the car lengths, it moves your entire car and that fake car in front of you. Now on the other side of the screen, you can change what you see. If you go down, you can see multiple different screens. Don't ask what they're all for, I don't know. And if you go all the way to the top, you can actually just get rid of it. And then it just makes the other screen bigger. And then you just have to push the control on the steering wheel down and then it goes back to that. Now the fuel economy on this vehicle is not like super amazing. But right now we're averaging 17.1 miles per gallon. And that is going up and down some hilly areas. This Bronco Wild Track with the Sasquatch package is great for driving around semis because of the adaptive cruise. So if you come up behind a semi that's going slower, then it slows you down and like I said, it adds those car links between you and the vehicle. So I am not using the pedals. The vehicle is totally adjusting its speed right now so that we can pass this semi truck. And now this one's about to come right in front of us. So the Bronco is going to slow down and we are going to keep those car lengths. Now the reason you do that is to avoid any rock chips, especially in your windshield, but also on your paint. So when you're like behind big semis and big trucks, they can throw up a lot of rocks at your vehicle and because of the adjustable car lengths between you and the vehicle in front of you, you can kind of lessen the chance of getting any of those chips. Now currently the semi ahead of us is going 68 miles per hour. My cruise is set to 75. So once they get over, the Bronco is going to speed up and it will bring me back to 75 miles per hour. Unless, of course, another vehicle or semi goes in front of me. Let's see if the windshield wipers work. The same stick that you use for your turn signal, you just push the end of it to clean the windshield. This car is absolutely so fun to drive, and it's so cool. Mr. Cameraman has been looking for one of these forever. He goes off-roading with a group of his friends and right now he has just been riding with one of the other group members and now he finally has a vehicle that he can drive off-road. He does not have to be a rider. I am so glad that the number one Ford Lincoln dealer in Iowa, Stivers Ford Lincoln in Des Moines, made this deal happen. Mr. Cameraman is so thrilled to have this. Me and Xena are so excited to take it off road, so is he. I mean, 10 out of 10, if you're looking for a vehicle, go check them out. And the Bronco does have blind spot on both of the mirrors, so you will know when you have available space to get over back into the slow lane. Okay, now that we are stopped, let's try to set up Apple CarPlay.
Okie dokie, we just got it hooked up. That is pretty cool. Now we can have our tunes going. We can have the GPS going. I mean, let's just look at this for a second. This is literally the size of a MacBook. I mean, this thing is humongous. The screen is absolutely amazing. And then down here you have all your knobs and stuff for like your heated seat and your air. Keep in mind, the heated seat will literally melt your butt. Oh my gosh, it is so super crazy hot. But I like it. And it also doesn't turn off. Like some, and if it does, it, I just haven't had it on long enough. But some, they seem like they turn off really quick. But that one seems to go forever. The other really cool thing about this is that it is touch screen. And over here, so our average gas mileage is 17. But you can change this to whatever one of these screens you want. There's tons of different options. You can click that. You can scroll through them. Um, then one of the coolest things is this is one of those 360 degree cameras. Isn't that the craziest thing ever? Super cool. Zena, do you wanna go home? Do you wanna drive your Bronco? Zena loves her new Bronco. Interesting thing is that the windows are in the middle. So that was something to get used to. But now I pretty much know how to work these this i know these are the mirrors i haven't touched them though this is how you switch it between like four wheel drive and stuff i really like this this is cool and then right now my phone is plugged in for apple carplay but supposedly it is wireless but some of the coolest features of this bronco is the wireless charging right down here you just have to put your phone down there and then they also have this one also has a heated steering wheel, which is super crazy nice. This Bronco is absolutely crazy, super cool. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you see the next time me and Zena upload a new video. Get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do and have a great one.